Um, so ladies and gentlemen, basically, if what we're going to do is we're going to cover two different things. I'm going to give you guys basically two problems um, of each case today. Um, what we're going to go ahead and graph, and then we'll, that will basically be it. So um, basically, what I'm going to have you guys do is uh, practice going through completing uh, the square. Because this one, if we want to solve this in vertex form, again, we look at this and we say, we do not have a perfect square. I cannot factor this to a binomial squared. So therefore, I need to create my binomial squared. And to do that, again, I'm simply just going to create my uh, parentheses over my first two terms. Because once I have my first two terms, I can create a perfect square trinomial from those terms. And again, to do that, you just take b divided by 2 and square it. So in this case, that's negative 6 divided by 2 squared. Well, negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3. Negative 3 squared equals 9. So now all we do is simply take the 9 and add it inside the parentheses. And if I'm going to add it inside the parentheses, then I have to subtract it outside. So I have y equals x squared minus 6x plus 9 plus 2 minus 9. Is everybody OK with how we get to here? Good. Now the next main important thing, guys, is now what we have done. Again, the whole purpose of this is to create a binomial squared. Why do we want a binomial squared? Because binomial squared, or I'm sorry, a perfect square trinomial, we can factor to a binomial squared, which will then put the problem in um, vertex form. So we got to know how to factor this, which is just going to be x minus 3 squared. And then this becomes minus 7. Now to go ahead and factor this. Now to go ahead and factor, um, ladies and gentlemen, all we're simply going to do is shift uh, to the right 3 and down 7. That's going to be your vertex. Sorry, vertex is 3 comma negative 7. So I go over 3, 1, 2, 3, down 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Um, you guys can see that my a is equal to 1. So I'm just going to go over 1, up 1, over 1, up 1, over 2, up 4, over 2, up 4. And my domain is going to be all real numbers. And my range, I would say, is going to be from the small, lowest point, which is negative 7, to infinity. And then that would be it. Infinity and beyond. 